So in this video I'm going to make some little fixes on my Creality Ender 3 Pro. The parts cooling fan has one broken blade so that fan needs to be replaced but also when I did a upgrade for the power supply unit holder I forgot something and well in this video I'm going to fix that little issue and also upgrade the power supply unit holder for a newer version which works much better here on Zachary's 3D Prints. Hello 3D printing friends, this is Zachary from Zachary 3D Prints, bringing you how to review news and anything 3D printing or 3D printer related you can find right here on this channel. If you're new here and not subscribed, consider subscribing and hit the notification button to get the latest videos right in your YouTube alerts. And if you want to have an inside scoop before YouTube, Check me on Twitter, Zachary underscore Bergen. And thanks for being here. So like mentioned, today in this video, I'm going to make some changes on the Coreality and the 3. First of all, the parts cooling fan. I don't know when it happens, but one of the fan blades is broken, causing a little imbalance in the parts cooling fan, making some huge noise. So, to reduce that noise, I'm going to replace it with a brand new parts cooling fan. 24 volts is this one. In my case, it's a red and black wire. So in my case, I'm going to use a DuPont connector, uh, male, female. So I'm always able to exchange it whenever I want. If I want to upgrade it for a different parts cooling fan, maybe a noiseless or a silent parts cooling fan i can always exchange it for a other parts cooling fan because i can just unplug the connector and replace it for something else so that is very convenient so for that reason i'm not going to solder anything but use a, a dupont male female connector in between so that is one of the things that i'm going to do and also the power supply unit holder several months ago something like last year i did an upgrade for a power supply unit holder to have it on the bottom or underneath the y-axis frame so in that case what happened i didn't ground the power supply unit with the frame of the ender 3 pro some people did comment to me on that and also the power supply unit holder is going to be changed for a newer version. This version is better than the previous one that I used last year in my video. So let's get into the changes. So what you can see here, the yellow is on the right side, the blue is on the left here. The red is on the right side and the black is on the left side. So those, the yellow is going on the red and the blue is going on the black. So and as you can see, this fan is also dirty. So I'm going to take this one off and I'm going to put the old fan shroud back because there is a future upgrade coming for the Ender 3 Pro. So, for that reason, I'm going to replace the old fan shroud back. So, I'm going to dust this off. So now the housing is back on its place, everything is screwed in, the wires that are for the thermistor and also the heater cartridge are on the inside of the fan shroud. This sits normally here, so the new one is also going to be placed there. Here it isn't, well because it is obvious where the cooling is going through, going to. And so now we are going to attach this one here and I'm going to make sure that the fan duct, this is a different fan duct 
This is a fan duct that is printed on the Ender 6. When it is installed like this, it looks amazing and it is just at the, the tip. So now the part cooling fan is installed. Everything is so far done. The only thing that we need to do is make a connection between the two wires. As said, the red is going on the yellow and the blue is going on the black wire. Make sure that when you are going to cut the wires that you have enough room to put the connector onto the wires. So depending on how you want to do that, I'm going to use the male connectors on the part where the parts cooling fan is and on the other side I am using the female connectors so that you always push the uh, male into the female connector. So to crimp it, you take, you take the pin as this through just two clicks so that it holds and you take the wire put it in there and then push it all the way through there you have it then we take one dupont connector look where the pin is and there you have it On the back side you pull a little bit making sure that everything is well and we try to push it in so That one is done too. Now we are going to put the black sleeve over it. Nice satisfying click. So, like mentioned, red on yellow, so I can connect it right here. And there you have it. So now I'm going to exchange the power supply unit holder, the old one for the new one. And as you can see the orientation or the placement of the on off switch and the power inlet is going to sit on the other side. Meaning that all the cables or the wires that are now here is going to sit over here. There is underneath the bed, there is enough room to place the cables over there. So let's disassemble this part and exchange it for the other one. So here it is out. As you can see, there is a little cover over it, a little mesh that I made several months ago. So I'm going to remove it. We say hello to uh, Joseph Prusa. So that part is done. So we take the new one, 
like mentioned I do like it when the switch is up and the socket is in so we screw that back inside something like that so the other one so that is in there So this one is connected, as you can see I just connected here and this is looking much nicer. So now everything is ready, I'm going to shove this right back. The wires from the heat bed are going over, over the uh, bracket and the other two wires from the X carriage and the extruder are going on the side. So let's move this right in there. Make sure that if you are going to push this through, make sure that the end stop wire is not cut in between or else you will damage the cable. So now with this in, I'm going to screw four and five screws into the brackets. So, and everything is connected, everything is attached. The power supply unit is um, mounted to the back of the frame from the Ender 3 Pro. The ground wire I connected on the inner side from the power supply unit and to the frame. I made a little piece of the frame clear so that when I'm using the nut and the screw that I can screw the ground wire directly to the frame using the T-nut and what you can also do when your wire your ground wire is a little bit longer to connect it right over here the only thing that you need to do is unscrew this screw here and then connect it through here when everything is done, make sure that all cables are not too loose, that your bed is not touching it or ripping it apart. So let's wrap up this video. So, and that was the replacement of the parts cooling fan and also um, switching over to a newer version of the power supply holder and also attaching the ground wire to the frame of the Ender 3 Pro. As you can hear, the fan is running very smoothly. It's not silent, but the sound is more nicer and more pleasant to listen to. Well, that's my personal opinion. I don't know, do you like the sound of fans on your 3D printer? Let me know in the comments. This video is supported by these awesome Patreon supporters. Volume Moses, The Lightspeed, and Fix Some Dude. Thank you guys for your support every single time. You can also support this channel by checking the Patreon link in the description of this video. If you're still watching this video, you are amazing. On the end card, there are some recommended videos uh, worth watching. While you're there, check out the merch in the merch store. Please like this video, share this video with other people and on social media. And hey, let's make awesome things with 3D printing. Zachary 3D Prints. Bye bye.